people forget how Thank good he was, was when he was before with, he was before he was you know with Miami and, and Boston because he he turned into just a, a jump shooter right mm -hmm. by circumstances that, right but when he was with Seattle and Milwaukee man this dude did everything yeah. man shooting coming off the dribble shooting so, making plays he did all of that see he was he was a guy that can can score in a variety of ways you, you think about somebody that's in great condition uh, like a guy like rip Ham right. hamilton right. uh, ray allen and, and reggie miller like these guys are non-stop movement right but what he had on them was he had the off the ball off the off the dribble game um, he had the athleticism he had the playmaking ability and he never got tired and he was clutch yeah. A lot of people here think Ray Allen could be an MVP. He's having that type of season in the NBA. He is silky smooth. He can shoot lights out. Now you give him any kind of opening, he's going to be able to shoot the basketball. You give him a little, they run his little curl for him, and David West just cannot get there, and he can make the shot, and then his defense is he steals the basketball, and once he gets in the open court, he drives and finishes. There's nobody playing better than Ray Allen right now. It is maybe the toughest road trip of the season for the Houston Rockets. It will not be a make or break type road trip but it might determine where the Rockets play and who they will play in the first round of the NBA playoffs. They will be facing Seattle then going to Phoenix then Sacramento and Golden State and coach yeah, you know being a head coach uh, the challenge is out there for Houston. Yeah but it's a lot of fun right now. Dexterous and he uses both hands very well. There is uh, Lewis with the loose ball and James picks it up. He's got Tracy Brady on the wing. He'll set him up. And Tracy McGrady to the rack for two. And the Rockets, as you indicated, Coach, you thought they were pumped and ready for this game. Back, uh, away from Yao. So they go back to McGrady. McGrady with the two. Got it. Tracy McGrady. And that's his second basket of the game. He has four in favor of the Sonics. Allen. They must have worked on that three-point shot. Little contact, no whistle. Ridnauer gets it up in a hurry. Three on three. Allen on the for the next one. Boy, they're getting some easy shots off the Rockets, Coach. Breaks a little drought of about three or four minutes by Houston. Allen steps back and hits again. My goodness gracious. What an exhibition of shooting by Seattle. Allen's open again. Allen hits again. See, the Rockets are getting back, Bill, but they aren't finding a man. All five Reds are back. To being down early is that you can get back in it fairly easily. But they're going to have to start doing something offensively, and there's a good man for that, Tracy McGrady. They just spread out the floor and let him go. Don't make any trades with their guards. Seven on the shot clock. Good defense so far by Houston. And wants to go one on one with Wesley. And he hits. My goodness. Ray Allen cannot miss. Allen right by himself. And what a great defensive job. T Mac will work on Rodmanovich. Gets a step inside. Reversal. And Rodmanovich with the foul. Rodmanovich has, he has no chance to guard Tracy McGrady. Rodmanovich giving it up to Allen, of course. Allen on the drive. When they got out of the double team with Allen, you knew that was going to leave a shooter wide open. That's 10 assists now for Luke Rittenau. T-Mac takes it off the glass for two. McGrady with nine. Go, go. T-Mac open for three, leans into it. That's an automatic. You can't leave him open like that. And Tracy McGrady. The Rockets have done a good job of hanging in, especially with the Seattle shooting the ball so well. Allen goes in the back door for two. 17 points. T Mac rises up and hits another three. So T Mac says, let's make it an all star party. Of 11 from behind the arc already for Seattle. Team back. And a foul is called on Rodmanovich. <laughs> Down on the court. Who's that, Antonio Daniels? I think it is. Inside for Team Mac. Puts it up and in. Daniels holding his. 
Left knee. Sets up Wesley down to Yao Ming. Yao out to McGrady, who's wide open. He'll shoot it over Evans for a three-pointer to start the third quarter for Houston. See, that was inside out. They went to Yao Ming. They went to double team. Yao Ming. Ray Allen. He wasn't worried about Yao Ming at all. Collison has checked in. Rodmanovich is in. Still looking for Allen. Wesley chasing Allen through a bunch of picks, and he catches up to him. Allen with four seconds, down to three. Allen forces. Oh, what a shot. Ray Allen, in desperation, heaves it up and in. Wesley guarded. Came back. They gave him some room, and that's too much. And Tracy McGrady answers the basket by Ray Allen. In there with Collison, Rodmanovich, and Antonio Daniel. The Rockets are just simply, oh boy, Allen got the roll. They just simply shut down. Fortune didn't know what hit him. 14 points for Yao, 76-79, Rockets lead the six. Allen turns the corner, and a foul on Ryan Boy. And the game getting a little chippy now. Takes it to the middle. Finger rolls it up and in. Tracy McGrady with a beautiful move. 26 points for Team Mac. Once you got Tracy McGrady on the floor, you got a shot to win any basketball game. Seven point lead by Houston. Allen will fire for three and hit. Can't do anything about that. Allen has 27 points. McGrady from the corner. Oh, and he answers with a long two. Tracy McGrady with 28 points. See what Tracy's in the court. You cannot run that right. That's the type of offense they're going to have to run here in the last four minutes. Back into a three point lead. Ray Allen on the perimeter. James gives him a pick. Allen shoots it to Allen goes in. Ray Allen with 29 points. Tracy McGrady answers the challenge. 30 points for T-Mac. Yeah, sets up McGrady. Tracy McGrady. Oh, what a cold-blooded shot by T-Mac. 33 points for Tracy McGrady. And now the Sonics go back on the offense. Got to get it in. McGrady goes to the basket. He's fouled. It counts. What a play! John Barry to T Mac. He goes to the rack for two and maybe three. Boy, John Barry is so smart. I thought there may be four and a half seconds ticked off when he got that pass in. Ray Allen will shoot the three. It means nothing. It goes in. Just got to get it in, and there it is. So the road team wins in the first two games of this series. How about that Tracy McGrady? Seattle wins in Houston. Houston wins in Seattle to start the road trip. What a huge win. The final score, 97-95 Houston. Well, you know what? Uh, our, our team showed great character and great poise down the stretch there. Those guys came out uh, in the first first half stroking the ball. You know, uh, They were 9 for 12 from behind uh, the three-point line, so... Uh, they, they played pretty well, uh, but we played well as, as, as well on the uh, offensive end. We struggled a little bit defensively, uh, so coming out in the second half, that's what we really wanted to concentrate on. Every time they hit a big, big shot, we answered that. It was just our intensity and our focus. Uh, we stayed disciplined on our, our game plan. We executed that well, and uh, you know, we, individually, we took pride on the defensive end. And you know, I, I went back to the bench. I was shocked that they only scored six points. I didn't know until the guys on the on the bench told me. And, uh, that just shows, man, when we stay focused and we bring our intensity on both fans, we could be a hell of a team. Well, you know what? We just want to, I just want to impose my will and uh, just be a leader by example and uh, let these guys know that this is how it's going to be, you know, for throughout the rest of the season. You know, I'm going to bring it uh, night in, night out, both offensively and defensively. And, you know, I just want these guys to follow my lead. Uh, we got off to a, a great road trip with this win right now. So now we got to concentrate on Phoenix.